what's sparking the planned upgrade of several area sewer systems. The actual combined sewage overflows, they occur about 10 to 20 times per year from this location. Like I mentioned, it's about 10 to 20 million gallons. It's about 10% sewage, about 90% stormwater. And um, the part that we're most concerned about is there is bacteria inside the sewage that we, we try to encourage people not to be entering the, the, the water when those overflows are occurring. So Andrew, are we talking about our system is broken, that sewage is allowed to do this? Yeah, no, actually, um, the system when it was designed about 100 years ago and when it was originally constructed was um, designed to, to take the sewage and the stormwater out of people's homes and out of the streets and pipe it directly to the water. The Brightwater Wastewater Treatment Plant is located north of Seattle, near the suburb of Woodenville. It went into operation in 2011 and was designed to help prevent sewage overflows and reclaim some of the wasted water from the metropolis. From State Road 9, passers-by can see an art piece commissioned by Brightwater and carved by a member of the Squaxin tribe. The carving is called Grandfather's Wisdom and is meant to obscure the absolutely colonial nature of the entire operation. The facility serves the northeastern edge of the Seattle metropolitan area. One of the goals of the Brightwater Reclamation effort is to turn storm runoff and sewage into water that can be sold to industrial businesses and large farms. Once it is collected and channeled into the facility, the reclaimed water becomes a commodity that is immediately put on the market. It recirculates back into the pipe network rather than remain the undrinkable and toxic waste that it is. By transmuting this byproduct of urban life into irrigation for farms, Brightwater perpetuates the waste it claims to be combating. It creates the illusion that there are no consequences for living a metropolitan life. Beyond this, the facility champions the reclaimed water it uses to water its own gardens as proof of a sustainable nature. Referred to as MBR technology, these membrane filters will one day be immersed in wastewater. Each of the thin strands will act as a straw, sucking wastewater through hollow fibers with microscopic pores small enough to filter out particulate matter and even individual bacteria. We can use it for irrigation and industry. It's treated to a point where it's, it's clean enough and safe enough to reuse for almost any purpose except drinking. In 2006, construction began for a 13-mile tunnel that would travel from Woodenville to the waters of Shoreline. The purpose of the tunnel is to deliver wastewater to the facility, treat it, and then deliver what cannot be reclaimed back into the Puget Sound. This waste is referred to in Brightwater as highly treated effluent. There are plans for four conveyance stations to be built along the tunnel route, two of which would bring wastewater and stormwater into the facility. The first and only of these stations to be operational is North Creek Portal in Bothell. It is located in the middle of the North Creek Business Park, a development that is owned by Schnitzer West, a large investment company that owns several condo buildings in Seattle. The buildings are in the business park and all have the same sterile and uniform appearance, typified by Building A, the headquarters of the tech company Vertifor. The Country Inn and Suites is across the street from the North Creek Station. The guests at the hotel and the employees at Vertifors can smell the faint stench of sewage as they walk to and from the parking lot. The station has the appearance of a contemporary condo building. 
Everything is transparent, minimal, and angular. Nothing is out of place. The icon of the facility is its green, recycled glass odor control tower. This luminous art is meant to hide the smell of shit. The rest of the pump stations are still under construction, waiting to be connected to the underground tunnel. When it rains, the waters absorb all of the toxins and chemicals on the roads and flood the system of drainage pipes with countless gallons of polluted runoff. During prolonged storms, this water causes the sewage system to overflow and flood into Lake Washington and the Puget Sound. The city was built under the assumption that the earth would absorb all of the waste that the population created. But now the limits have been reached and the contradictions made apparent. The metropolis is a wasteful beast that cannot change its nature. The highly treated wastewater from the Brightwater facility enters the Puget Sound at the Point Wells outfall and shoreline. Just as it always has, the waste of the city still goes into the water, although now it is purified through the strange alchemy of the engineers and scientists. The sewage system has not changed over the decades since it was designed. It has simply grown more efficient and more advanced. <laughs>